a football fan Or you like desperate Dan If you're a bit of a cook Or you like a good book, don't delay And you'll say yeah, yeah, do, do it right, right away. away Right away, yeah, yeah do, do it right, right away. away Give your mates a scare Tell them you really care Have you had a good day? Wanna have your say Don't delay Right away, right away yeah, yeah, do it right, right away, away. Right away, yeah, do it right away, right away. What's the writing challenge today, Mousie? Today, Larry, we're helping someone make a poster. Oh, how exciting! If something's going on, and you want people along, a good poster's the way to, to make, make a, a great day. day. Right, right away! away. <laughs> yes, your zoo needs you. <laughs> oh, look how sweet! <laughs> Monsieur often goes down to the city farm to see the animals. <laughs> They're so funny! <laughs> A lot to see. But Daphne, who runs the farm, is worried that not enough people like Monjour are coming to visit. There's not very many of us down here, are there? We need to think of ways to get some more people to come into the farm to enjoy it, because it's such a special place. I just wondered if any of you had any good ideas, if you could think of ways that we could invite people to come down. Have a little think now. We could write to the Prime Minister. Yes, that's a good idea, yes. We could make a website, you know, the internet. We could have a demonstration. We could have a demonstration, yes. We, I suppose we could have a demonstration. Monja. What about a really good poster? A really good poster, wouldn't that be wonderful? Well, we've all got lots of good ideas, but maybe what we need now is some... Action! Well, Munja's gone straight into action and is making a poster. Great drawing. How's it going, Munja? It's okay, but I want to make my poster even better. I need help. Don't worry, Munja, because I know just the person to give you a hand. Writing, Writing rescuers, rescuers to, to the, the rescue! rescue. <laughs> Paul Noble spends every day thinking of the right words to put on posters. Words that will make the poster work really well. Got to run. Paul gets some of his best ideas when he's out running. Today he's thinking of ideas for a new poster for the Web of Life exhibition at London Zoo. Oh. Hi, I'm Paul. Hi, Paul. Mousy tells me you need some help. I just don't know where to start on my poster. Well, actually, I've got a poster to do too. That's why I'm here at the Web of Life. Shall we go and check it out? OK. Yeah, sure. The first thing I do is look for a good picture. See, with good pictures, you get great ideas. Look at these guys. What is that? That's a stick insect. The masters of camouflage. That would make a great picture, you know. In fact, let's take a shot. Wow, what is that? This is a giant millipede, and this one comes from South Africa. Stroke it like that, it feels almost, it's very smooth, isn't it? How many legs has it got? They've got usually, depending on the species, just a bit less than a thousand legs. Imagine having that many legs so you could run to school really fast. That would make a great picture. Hang on. So let me take a snap. Look at these ants. Wow. These must be leafcutter ants. Check them out. They must be so strong. Look at the way they pick up these leaves and take them along the ropes. This is a colony of leafcutter ants from South America. And what they're doing now is they're collecting leaves, they're taking them back towards these nests 
which in the wild are underground, and these are actually fungus gardens. When they bite, does it hurt? Yes, it does hurt. You can see there's lots of different sizes of ants here, but it's the really big ones, which are called the soldier ants, and they defend the colony, and they have really massive jaws, and when they bite, it really hurts. One of those guys would make a great pitch, actually. Brilliant. So the first thing to do if you're making a poster is to find a good picture. Yes, Larry. Because a good picture will catch people's attention. They'll stop and look at the poster. Mousy, if we were to make a poster about ourselves, the writing rescuers, how could we catch people's attention? Uh, we could use a picture of me with my beautiful big eyes. But this is meant to be a picture of the writing rescuers. So it can't just be a picture of you, uh, beautiful though you are. Oh, yes, yes, Larry, of course, of course. Back in the Simon, office, Simon. Paul is having a meeting with Simon, so the creative director who looks after the pictures. Like They've decided to use a picture of an ant for the new Web of Life poster. I think that's pretty good. No. Now what we need is a tagline to go with the picture. And it's just a catchy phrase that makes people laugh and makes people stop and think. Now, I wonder if we can come up with a few catchy lines. Now, I've had a few and I thought, bitten by the bug, that could be quite funny. That's a good one. Yeah. That's possible. Could write that one down. Shall we just write these down? Or it'd be snack attack. Now, I was wondering if you've had any thoughts. What about monster one? Hey, yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty good. really good. Should that's we write good. that one down then? If we, if we write a couple down... Let's put that with... Because everyone knows what monster munch is. There we go. I think that's a great start. line. We've got this fantastic shot of an ant. Why don't we close in really large on it mm -hmm. so we can see a really big, frightening picture of an scary. ant. scary. Maybe it could be carrying something different in its mouth. Maybe a leaf isn't quite right. What about another bug? That'll we'll be put cool. Put another bug in its mouth. See, that'll be cool. But then, yeah. but then we need a line that that will really work with that. Yeah. Perhaps it could be like a big breakfast. Big breakfast. That's perfect. Now I think that'll work really Excellent. well. Excellent. That's a very good idea. It's like he's about to take his breakfast away. Breakfast. That's it? cool. Because I think that's great. <laughs> So once you've got a picture, you need some clever words to go with it. Words that bring the picture to life. Yes, Larry. A tagline. So what would our tagline be? Oh, um, the mouse with the most. Mousy, it's the writing rescuers. There are two of us. Yes, yes, um, two of us. Uh, well, um, that's exactly what I meant, Larry. I'm the mouse, and you're the most. Oh, mousy! <laughs> They've got a picture and a tagline. I wonder what's next. Now it's time to look at facts, information. Now, this is an example of a film we'd been working on a few months ago. It's called Ants. Did you ever get to see Ants? I think so. Right, well, you might recognise this then. What we have here is a picture of an ant, New York. We've got a tagline, every ant has its day. We've got a title of the film, Ants. And we've got information here at the bottom. It says, start 6th of November at cinemas across the country. Now, that's the sort of stuff we need to be doing on your poster. Hello. Oh, hey, hi, Simon. Hello, guys. Hiya. How about this for a shot? That's great. That's Good picture, yes. Yeah, that's really nice. Right. Well, I've been yeah. on, I've been onto the computer, right. Right, and I've got you together, a nice image there. Fantastic for you to work on. So I'll leave you to get on with the words. Absolutely. Information. See you later. Cheers, Simon. Right, well. Bye. Right now, look what we've got here. We've got the great image of an ant. We've got the tag. We've got the tagline that we just worked on. But there's something missing down down here. Now, what do you think's missing? Where to go? Exactly. Now what? Now what we need to do 
is put this on. And that says everything we need to know. There's no point having a poster if the viewer or who's ever looking at the poster doesn't know where he's going and what time he can go. So it's vital that we show that. So do you think you're ready to do your poster now? Yes, I think so. Thanks, Ward. OK, bye. Good luck with your poster, Monja. And remember to include the information as well as the picture and the tagline. So that people know where to go. And when it's on. And what it's about. Yeah. Look, Monja's got a camera. That's a good picture. Sorry, Doc's farm. You'd be a pig not to come. Oh, clever. Oh. Sorry, Doc's farm. You'd be a cow not to come. That's good too. Oh, the turkeys. Oh, that's my favourite. Sorry, Doc's farm. You'd be a turkey not to come. That's a good tagline. What are the opening hours? The opening hours of the farm are 10 till 1 and 2 till 5 from Tuesday to Sunday. Write down that information. What is the address and phone number? Oh yes. Surrey Docks Farm is on Rotherhithe Street. Must remember that. And the telephone number is 0171 231 1010. How do you get to the farm? Well, our nearest tube station is Surrey Keys. Uh, but you can also get a, a 225 bus, which comes very close to the farm. Thank you, Daphne. It's a pleasure, Monja. <laughs> Sorry, Doc's farm. You'd be a turkey not to come. The farm is open Tuesdays to Sundays from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. and is shut between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. Oh, brilliant! Oh, that is good! Look at that! Wow! Great, eh, Paul? <laughs> Look at all those people! They've all come to see the animals! The posters really worked! Daphne must be ever so pleased! <laughs> Well done, Moncho. It's brilliant. Excellent. Moncho's poster was a great success, wasn't it, Mousie? Yes, and let's remember why. Moncho chose a striking picture to catch people's attention. Then he added a clever tagline. And he remembered to write down the information. That's why so many people came to the farm. Another successful rescue, Larry. So until next week, it's goodbye from, from both of, of the writing, writing rescuers. rescuers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I think we should do a post now. I'd like to take pink and blue spots. Oh, that sounds nice. Can we have some spots as well? Let's try. Yeah, we all right. Like a good book, don't delay. Have your say yes, do it right away. Right away, yes, do it right away. Right away, yes, do it right away. Give your mates a scare. Tell them you really care. Have you had a good day? Wanna have your say? Don't delay. Right away, yes, do it right away. Right away, yes, do it right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away.
Today we're helping someone with the lyrics for a song. Writing, Writing rescuers to the rescue! Eight-year-old Hannah loves singing. Hannah, what is that song? It's Japanese. Oh, how clever! Not long to go now. Send in your songs. Remember, you've only got one more week to enter our songwriting competition. If you win, we'll play your song here on Radio Cardiff, The Sound of the City. How's your song going so far, Hannah? Summer, summer, summer makes me want a hammer. Oh dear. Not too good, is it? No. I think Hannah needs our help. Whatever your problem, whatever you do, the, the riding, riding rescuers, rescuers will, will rescue, rescue you. you. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily for Hannah, I know just the person to help. Richie Webb is a fab songwriter who's always on children's telly singing really funny songs. On the seat of a bicycle made for two. Hey! Hi. Hello. You must be Hannah. Yeah. Jump on. Put your feet on the pedals and we'll be ready to go. Yeah. Okay. You see, Mousy's been telling me all about this problem. So how's this song of yours going then? Summer, summer, summer makes me want a hammer. Right, not very well then. Not really, no. You see, the thing is, Hannah, some words are easier to rhyme than others. A lovely big spud, but we won't eat the mud. Um, <laughs> a nice juicy carrot to feed to the... Uh, Parrot? Parrot, yeah. Uh, some nice ripe plantain, which is good for your... Brain? Brain, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, look. Some lovely fresh corn to eat. On the lawn? Oh, yeah, not bad. And, and to finish off with, a nice juicy orange. Orange doesn't rhyme with anything. You're right, actually. It doesn't, does it? Uh, well, we'll leave that one. I think we've got enough there. Come on. And don't forget the play. Don't forget the play, yeah? <laughs> I paid him, don't worry. <laughs> I've been thinking. Yeah. What about this? Summer, 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 summer time. Everybody's happy, everybody's fine. That's fantastic. Summer time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pears, stairs, bears, cares. Mango, tango, fandango. <laughs> what are you doing, Mousie? I'm making a rhyming fruit dictionary for Richie. Ooh. And guess what? I've got a word that rhymes with orange. Splorange? Is that a word, Mousie? Of course it is, Larry. A splorange is a splattered orange. Splorange. Oh, how interesting. I I'll just run a, a search on that. Splorange. No match for... Found. Well, of course, it's not in your dictionary, Larry. Your dictionary only has English words. Oh. Splorange is a word used only by me. Right, it's time to find the beat. What do you mean? Look, you can't have a song without rhythm. Follow me. While I've been making up new words, Hannah's been busy writing her song. Now she needs to find the beat. There are all sorts of beats. Like one, two, one, two. Or one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Side straddle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dungeon. Off we go. But what's important is that the beat doesn't keep changing. Otherwise... <laughs> Things go all wrong. <laughs> I know, let's try and see if the words to your song will fit this rhythm, okay? Ready? 
one, two, three, four. Think of ice creams, think of sun. Think of the seaside, it's number one. Sky is sunny, sea is blue. I'm having fun with you. I'm having fun. That doesn't fit, Hannah. I'm having fun. Hope you are too. You know, that might just work. Let's try it. OK, everyone, should we join in? Five, six, seven, let's go. Think of ice cream, think of sun. Think of the seaside, it's number one. Sky is sunny, sea is blue. I'm having fun, hope you are too. <laughs> there once was a mouse on TV, the greatest star ever to be. She wrote a great song and the kids sang along. And you'll never guess who the marvellous mouse is. It's me. Oh, bravo, Mousy. But may I make a polite suggestion? What? It's just that I think the last line might be rather long. Long? <clears throat> there once was a mouse on TV. A one and a two and a three. The greatest star ever to be. A one and a two and a three. She wrote a great song and the kids sang along. Oh, wonderful, marvellous me. <laughs> one and a two and a three. <laughs> <sighs> that, that's really taken it out of me. That has absolutely exhausted. I'll tell you what, let's... Let's have ourselves something to eat. Sit yourself down. <laughs> I could eat a horse. Can I take your order? Uh, yes, please. I'd like uh, 20 pancakes. Actually, no, I'll have uh, 25, no, 30 pancakes. Yeah, 30 pancakes and every filling you've got. Uh, cream, ice cream, maple syrup, cheese and onion, the lot. <laughs> what about you? I'll have the same. <laughs> Two of those then. Thanks very much. What about me? Starving. Oh, here we go. Grab yourself a plate. Grab yourself a pancake. <laughs> this looks delicious. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Actually, you know, writing a song's a bit like a stack of pancakes because you can't have a song without a chorus. Like you can't have a stack of pancakes without pancakes. I'll show you what I mean. A chorus is the most important part of the song. It keeps getting repeated. Watch. Here's my chorus, and then I've got a verse, a chocolatey verse, and then another chorus. And, uh, ooh, I have a jammy verse. <laughs> and then I have another chorus. And then I have an ice cream verse, Ooh. <laughs> and then the final chorus. You see, there's no point writing a song if you haven't got verses and choruses. And there's no point having a stack of pancakes if you're not going to eat them. Tuck in! Mmm, <laughs> the yummy choruses. <laughs> right! An original song by Mousy. Like most songs, it's got a chorus, which is the same, and verses which are all different. I shall begin with the first verse. We're as happy as we can be, cos I love Larry and Larry loves me. Friends, 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 friendship never ends. Larry's not clever, he's not a star, he's here forever cos he won't go far. Friends, 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 friendship never ends. But only Larry puts up with me, so we're as happy as we could be. Friends, 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 friends friendship never ends. <laughs> Now Mama, Hannah's finished Mama, writing her song, Mama, Richie needs Mama, to make some music Mama, to go with the words. Summer, 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 time, yeah. Summer, 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 time. Everybody's happy, everybody's fine, yeah. Summer, 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 time. If you like a summer, you're a friend of mine. Oh, 
Hannah did in the radio competition. Ooh. The winner of the Radio Cardiff Songwriter of the Year competition, singer-songwriter Hannah Joshua, and she's yeah. only eight years old. Think of ice cream, think of sun, think of the seaside, it's number one. Sky is sunny, sea is blue, I'm having fun, hope you are too. Bucket shrimps in my net Happy here as long as they're wet Looking in rock pools, finding shells Listening to the story the seagull tells One, two, three, four Sun, sand, sea, and more Summer, 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 summer time Everybody's happy, everybody's fine Summer, 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 summer,